This is a video review of the Parasaur Lophus Zord and the Velociraptor Zord. Yes, I did pronounce that correctly. Uh, anyway, this is the Parasaur Lophus um, Dino Charger. Um, there are the flips of it. Here is the Velociraptor um, Dino Charger. There are the flips of it. And anyway, let's get on to the individual figures themselves. Now, these guys are not that much different than the arms of, uh, of the... Um, Blue and pink, the uh, Sigasaurus and Triceratops arms of um, the Dino Charger Megazord set that you buy on its own like this. Um, the big differences are they have a bigger tail, they're bipedal, and they have um, tiny posable forearms here. And the mouths open down, not upwards. Otherwise, they are basically the same, although they all have their own individual tail gimmick. Um, this is the Parasaur Lophus, and it looks pretty okay. Um, there's nothing too good or great or bad or wrong about it or anything. It's a pretty faithful representation of the original, except for the um, problems I already talked about in the Dino Charger Megazord review, where the Judenshi, when they go in, they don't go in all the way, and uh, they don't have the spring loaded gimmick to pop them out. Now, the um, gimmick that this guy has is actually pretty interesting. What you do is you take the um, Dino Charger, you push it in, and then you get a little gun here. Uh, to turn this into the arm, what you do is you pull this back, rotate this up like this, rotate this forward, and then they, uh, the um, uh, the little hand thing here and the foot here just kind of collapse around each other. It's not the most elegant thing in the world, but it kind of works. And then anyway, here is uh, one arm, and I'll be showing you what this looks like on the... Um, Kyoru, uh, not Kyoru, uh, the Diamond Treasure Megazord after I show you the Raptor over here. Now the Velociraptor Raptor here, I like quite a bit more because it's it's more colorful. I like the green because I can actually see it. Like this thing just kind of blends into the background. But this guy looks pretty good. Otherwise he is the exact same with the exception of his tail. So we'll pop this in like this and then boom. I like this so much more than what they did with uh, uh, Kyoru Uger, where on the uh, Kyoru Uger version of the two sections here just kind of split apart this much and outward sideways. These actually look like real claws, not like um, a big blunt thing, but I, I really like the way they made this actually fan out. I think it works a lot better. Although, one thing to keep in mind is the um, they will pop apart on their own. Well, it's not doing it now, but they, they don't stay together very well. Um, this time they stay together quite well, but usually what happens is just a straight bump will cause them to come apart. But anyway, Turn this into the arm is exact same on the Parasaur Lophus. You will rotate these back and up, rotate these up to the uh, arms like this, and then you are just about done. Let's see. There we go. So here we have a claw and a gun, and to make um, the next combination we use, you just pop these guys off and then you pop these arms on. In Japan, this combination was known as a uh, Kyoryujin Western. And uh, when you did this combination on the actual toy, it would, it would play a, a sort of a Western jingle. Now, oh, you can already kind of see this here, but one thing that kind of sucks about this combination is that the um, these guys are actually a little bit bigger than the... Um, than the other two, so they bump into stuff when they move around, which kind of sucks. And uh, they, they have more stuff, so it's also um, just happening with them, so it's also harder to get them to actually go on without stuff, crashing into other stuff. And I'm not quite a big fan of that, how that works. Anyway, um, the other big problem I have with these guys is just how far down to the ground they go. It doesn't look good or in proportion or anything like that. I much prefer the uh, shape and size of these guys. Um, but these guys do ha will have a use later on in the final combination uh, when they get to the um, whatever the Bandai of America version of uh, Baragio is going to be. Um, and actually, that's why this uh, port right here is for. Um, anyway, I don't quite like this, but one thing you can do because of the Zord Builder stuff is you can pop this off, pop this off, and then put them on like this. Now, it doesn't look great, but it's better than they were, and it is interesting. You will also have to take this off. Um, and this is... Um, Weird looking and very uh, tiny shoulders, especially because his, his hands are now in his armpits. But if you see these, is just the limits of his um, 
arms. Like, uh, he doesn't have hands, he just has a gun and a giant claw, then it's not too terribly bad. It's certainly interesting. It's something that you can do because of the Zord Builder system, and as much as I hate to admit it, the Zord Builder system is kind of getting kind of cool. It's not great, and I would prefer a um, more robust ratchet system, but it works well enough. So anyway, this has been the video review of the Parasaur Lophus and uh, Velociraptor Zords. Um, I don't terribly recommend them, but they're not bad. They will add to your playability for the uh, Dino Charger Megazord, and they will be necessary for some later combinations. So if you're going for some later combinations, then um, you will want them. Uh, basically, what's going to happen with this guy right here is he is going to pop on up here and be a gun, and then this guy's going to be a, a giant staff thing. So um, when we get to that, when we get to that part of the Dino Charge toy line, um, I, I hope it'll be pretty cool. But anyway. Um, I review Power Rangers, Digimon, Transformers, Tobots, Biclons, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe and thank you for watching.